Hey family, make sure you join us on the new and improved African diaspora news.org. Now it is our uncensored and raw truth website. We have to make sure to have our own website because on social media platforms, they do have rules and at any time they could change a rule and shut a whole genre down. Now that would not happen to us because on African diaspora news.org, we can speak the truth. We don't have to hold back. So make sure you join our website today. Fox News correspondent Emily faces backlash and the surprising thing is she's not even backing down. She's not even apologizing for what she has said. So she talked about Kenya and how Kenyan women don't have the right to vote when they're pregnant and a bunch of nonsense that is really not happening on the ground. And so Kenyans on social media dragged her along with their activists and ministers. Let me show you this clip and we'll come back and discuss. Um, and the insularity of these celebrities is so asinine to me. It's so nauseating because these comments are totally delusional, right? So she's talking about like what, what voting rights? Yeah. That we have less voting rights here. What about in Kenya where pregnant women can't leave the house? So they absolutely have no constructive right to vote. Or in Oman where women have to vote as their husbands do. Or yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> risk death Jeff oh, my the way she's saying it like she has been there she knows for a fact and she also has insiders that are you know giving her the tea but that's not actually what's happening and that's not the truth in Kenya as well as many African countries when a pregnant woman wants to vote she's actually given um, priority like elders, pregnant women, and people that have disabilities, they're given the first opportunity, like priority to vote. So her saying this with certainty, is just mind boggling. That tells you that she's not aware of what's going on in Kenya, but she feels like she can speak about it because nobody's gonna check her. But guess what? Kenyans were not having it. They checked her on social media. They dragged her up and down <laughs> the social media streets. And I was surprised when she refused to apologize because I thought she would come back and say, oh, sorry, um, I misspoke or like I misled people. Nope. She came back and she doubled down. She actually said, um, I got this from online and it is what it is. Like she did not apologize. But it really proves to you how this mainstream media people move. There's no consequence to what they are saying. Either it's misleading, either it's a lie. Nobody cares about it because they are on CNN, they are on Fox News. It's just people let it slide. But nowadays, more and more, we're seeing people stand up against people that are lying on us, people that are misleading the world about Africans. So um, Kenyans wouldn't allow this to happen. So they spoke up. She still didn't apologize but she messed up and she knows it I do believe she knows it she just I feel like she's embarrassed to admit that she made a mistake or she made a statement that is false and to just set the record straight Kenyan women that are pregnant are allowed to vote and they're given priority so that's a lie anyways fam let us know down below what your thoughts are about the Fox News correspondent that told a lie, like a blatant lie, but refuses to apologize. I am Ungil Zalalem. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Hey family, on November 20th through December 1st, 2022, we will have the all-inclusive Kenya trip. Now, a lot of times people have said, hey, Phil, when's the next trip we'd like to go? I want to see Africa for myself, but well, this is the time to go. Everything will be taken care of. All the excursions are paid. You can do monthly payments. You know, they'll have a safari and a six city tour. You will see Charlie Island, which is something that we did not see last time on the tour. This tour will be 12 days instead of seven days. So make sure to secure your place on the trip by going to www.wbsvs.com, make your deposit, and then you can start making your payments and we'll see you in Kenya.